Hello, welcome to a three minute segment, Coffee with Brian, dealing with anxiety, fears, and panic. Today, we had a small workshop dealing with fears, um, fears, particular fears. One of them I'd like to talk about, and they all basically are um, the same. You can use the same template for the different fears. There were some people that talked about fear of elevators, some were talking about fear of heights, fear of bridges, and so on and so forth. Now, being a person that struggled with anxiety and panic for years, you know my story, I'm going to tell you this, and I said this to them, what exactly are you afraid of? Now, as an expert in anxiety and panic, it's very easy to ask that question knowing my story and what I've been through. Dealing with agoraphobia and being afraid of everything imaginable within your head. So through my years, I've utilized tools to break things down into what I call segments, segments of security. I used to have a fear of bridges, obviously, because you have a fear of everything when you're agoraphobic. But what I used to do is say, what am I really afraid of? Besides drop your armor and live in the moment and so on. I'm not afraid of the bridge. The bridge is not going to collapse. I'm not afraid of driving off the bridge. I'm not afraid. What I'm afraid of is in the future. I'm afraid of driving over a bridge because I'm afraid of what? Well, you're not afraid of the, the car is fine. It's probably a two mile bridge or a mile bridge. There's nothing wrong with the car. The, the, so what are you afraid of? I'm afraid of heights. Okay. So what I said to them was these people, right now you're in my office on the first floor and you feel comfortable. What if I was on the 60th floor? How comfortable would you feel? And they said, deathly afraid, I would probably not go to see you. And I said, so what you're telling me is you're getting help. I'm using my 40 years of expertise and you're being helped. We're having a great time. And you're telling me that if I was on the 60th floor and you're telling me that that's where the help was, you would not come see me. And a lot of them said no. And I said, exactly. What are you afraid of? And they said, I don't like heights. So I broke it down into segments. I said, you don't like heights because of why? And you ask these questions, I'm not trying to irritate them. This is how you help yourself. When you start to realize what you're really afraid of, you're afraid of what you're going to feel like at that particular moment. Trust me, I know. I'm not just saying this in a clinical sense. I'm going to go over three minutes because I need to. I'm saying this as a person that suffered at the height of anxiety and panic. When I was going over seven mile bridge on my motorcycle and I started to get those feelings and I started to use my healing thought process, I broke it down into segments and I started to drive and I started to say, ask myself, what am I really afraid of? If this wasn't a bridge, it was an open road, I'd be in, I would be in my glory. So essentially, I'm not afraid of anything. I'm afraid of my own thought. My thought of what? What is that I'm really afraid of? I couldn't answer the question. I started to get giddy. I started to laugh. I started to actually almost make fun of myself. There is really, and this is important for you to understand, and don't say, don't say these words, ah, he doesn't understand. I do. You need to understand that what you're feeling and what you're really afraid of are your thoughts. When you start to realize that they're your own thoughts and you start to use my exercise as I used to use, as I told you prior to live in the moment, start focusing on things within your car. I used to focus on things on my motorcycle. I used to focus on the rear view mirror. I used to focus on the detail that the chrome detail on my handlebars. I used to focus on the smell. I used to focus on the wind. I used to, you laugh at this, but I'm utilizing senses that I ordinarily would utilize for fear. So the, to summarize, what I want you to do is I want you to utilize this all as many senses as you possibly can. As you're sitting on the car, you're feeling, as you're smelling, as you're looking at certain things within your car, as you're listening to certain things. If you start to use your senses, instead of using your fear, your anxiety, trust me when I tell you, will come down considerably. 
and I hate to use the word practice doing this. It works. I, you have to trust the fact I know what I'm talking about. It works. The more you do it, the more you use your senses to benefit you rather than use your fear to hurt you, it's going to help you in every aspect of your life in your elevators, wherever you are fearful. I've been, I was like that my whole life. So I want to keep this kind of in a five minute segment. So please understand, utilize your senses. I want you to practice doing this on a very small level on little places where you might be a little anxious. Utilize as many senses as you possibly can to get and live in that moment. You're going to feel a little anxiety, but the more senses you utilize to be present, the less anxiety and cortisol you will have to, for the anxiety. It works. Trust me when I tell you. Practice it. Email me. Let me know how you're doing. We'll talk more about that in the future. Have a great day. Talk to you soon.